Hey, Hutchison here with the Science Hutch. It's fourth day of school, and I'm gonna go ask some people about lab safety. Let's go ask Dr. Johnson, our principal, and Bob Sawyer, our dean, some lab safety questions. Hey, hey guys. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I just wanted to ask you guys some lab safety questions. We're doing a little video uh, mm -hmm. for the Science Hutch. Is that all right? Sure. Okay, all right. So, uh, Mr. Sawyer, let's go first. Um, let's see. What do you use the safety shower for? Um, a lot of people would think you would use it if there's a fire involved. Yeah. That's actually one of the worst things you can do. Really? Um, you use it if there was some kind of caustic chemical, like an acid or a mace on the person, you use the shower to wash it off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice! Very good. All right, Dr. Johnson, um, what would you do, what kind of piece of safety equipment in a science lab would you use if a fire were to break out on Mr. Sawyer right now? Well, yeah, you, you, you know, um, the first thing I would think about is maybe a fire extinguisher and douse him with fire extinguisher, but oh, he would be able to breathe. Oh. And, I, and I like him. Oh, okay. So I think I would use uh, a fire blanket. Oh, nice! Yes, yes, the fire blanket! Thanks, guys! All right, all right, let's go! We get to hear these rules every school year. Okay, maybe not every year we're in school, but certainly from sixth grade up. So by the time you're taking physics as a high school junior or senior, you've heard that you need to wear your safety goggles for five, six years. So maybe we don't need a half hour long video on every lab safety rule, but here's a quick refresher on the basic equipment. I know what you're thinking. We're all perfectly safe in this classroom, right? Right. right. Wrong. Just about everything you see in here is a potential hazard. Let me show you something. You should look around your classroom and locate the first aid kit, the fire blanket, goggles cabinet, broken glass disposal, safety shower, eye wash, and if you have one, the fume hood. Out of all the safety equipment, science noobs typically confuse the purposes for the shower, the blanket, and the fire extinguisher. The extinguisher is used on burning things. Oh! He's cooking fish sticks! While the fire blanket is used on burning human. Carbon dioxide foam from a fire extinguisher could suffocate a human if you spray it into their face holes. So if your lab partner ignites. Your hands on fire! So it is! Then use the fire blanket to give them a hug of life. And the safety shower isn't used for fires at all. It's used for washing away corrosive liquids like acids or bases. You should test your shower every so often to make sure it's working and to rinse out any buildup in the pipes. This is what our shower looked like after the summer. Oh, nice and brown. Of course, you can always get Coach Rowe to test the thing properly. Two, one. <laughs> what about the other lab safety rules we haven't covered? There are already lots of great lab safety videos out there. It would be a little bit silly for me to rehash what's already been done. So since I teach physics, let me just conclude by going over a few safety tips that are unique to the high school physics classroom. Number one, our goggles are different. We wear impact resistant goggles instead of the chemical splash guard goggles. The most common danger to your eyes in physics class is projectiles, so no unauthorized projectiles. Number two, when working with electric circuits, switch the current off before making circuit adjustments like replacing a light bulb and never connect the positive end of a battery directly to the negative end of a battery with a wire. This is called short circuiting and it will take the battery's electrical energy, turn it into heat so fast that the wire can get dangerously hot. Cancel. 
so hot right now. Absolutely. Lastly, when finishing with electrical equipment, unplug it. And when unplugging, grasp the plug, not the cord. This will keep the insulation in the cord from coming out of the plug after repeated use. All right, that's it. Now, if you're a noob to lab safety or you're starting a chemistry class, you really should check the links in the description below for videos that will give you chemistry and general lab safety tips. Thanks for watching. This has been the Science Hutch. I was the Hutch. Safety was the science and you're the physicist. Safe physics. -ing. I can change the world by being a scientist like my friend Hutch.